If you have ever put up a shelf or crossed a bridge, you know how important it is to make sure that the structure can withstand the forces being applied to it and avoid disasters like you see in the video. Let's break down a shelf or a bridge into its most fundamental component, a beam, and see how it deforms under various constraints and loads. We can use MathCAD to perform these calculations. This PDF is an output from MathCAD. As I scroll through the different pages, you can see the different calculations and steps being taken to calculate the deflection in the beam. Now let's see what MathCAD looks like. This is the MathCAD environment. We will start by putting in a title into this worksheet. We can format the title by changing the font and even moving it around on the page. Next, we will select the cross-sectional area that we want to use for the beam. For reference, I'm going to import an image and put it right into the worksheet. Let's go ahead and pick a rectangular cross-sectional area. We define the width and the height of the cross-section. We can also put in the equation for the moment of inertia for a rectangular cross-section, which is equal to 1 12th, the width times the height cubed. Note that if I want to change the definition of one of the dimensions, the calculations will update automatically. I can even add units to the variable definition. MathCAD is unit intelligent and will update the moment of inertia accordingly. We define the elastic modulus of the material that we want to use in our beam. Again, we can add units, in this case, gigapascals. We can put in another image to show how the beam is being supported and also where the load is being applied. We will specify a load of 500 newtons, have a beam of 15 meters, and have that load be applied at 11 meters from the left-hand side. We are now ready for the main calculations. Let's start by calculating the reactionary forces on the two ends of the beam. Next, we can calculate the shear, the moment, and the deflection in the beam. Notice how all these equations are typed just as you would write them on a whiteboard. This is what we call natural math notation. You will also see the calculations carry through the units. We can use these units as a quick sanity check to make sure that our equations are correct. Now that we have equations for the shear, moment, and deflection of the beam, let's go ahead and add in some plots. Before we do so, we need to define an independent variable, x. To add a plot, I can scroll over to the Plots tab on the ribbon menu. I add an xy plot to show the shear forces in the beam. I can resize the plot and also move around the axis labels. I can copy this plot and duplicate it for both the moment and the deflection in the beam. I can even add a vertical line on the deflection plot to show where the load is being applied. I can also format it, changing the line, color, and also width. Now let me show you a worksheet that I created previously. In this worksheet, you will see that I've added a title page to my calculations. I can also add graphics to my header, and also things like page number and other text in my footer. The calculations that you see in this worksheet are more or less the same as the ones you've already seen. However, you will notice that I can also draw on capabilities from our rich library of functions. In this case, I can optimize the length and width of my cross-sectional area given the constraints of deflection and also load. This worksheet cannot directly output to a PDF. MathCAD is a WYSIWYG environment. What you see is what you get. This self-documenting feature makes it very easy for you to share your work.